let's go. All right, dude. All right, dude. So, I was thinking about some stories I wanted to tell you guys, right? And, and so many stories, dude. I have so many stories that I want to tell you. But I think, I think that today I'm actually going to jump into one of the crazier stories that I have, dude. Now, this one's going to be in two parts, bro, because it's just too long and too crazy, bro. So I'm just going to jump into it. It's New Year's Eve, son. Now, you know your boy turns up whenever there's a holiday, dude. But New Year's Eve is special to me. It's sacred. You know why? Because there's no sleep involved, dude. No sleep. That's already, like, like something I establish at first. So I know that the night's going to be fun. So, let's start the story, dude. It's New Year's Eve. I'm in France. It's nice, dude. I'm in the middle of the city in an apartment. I'm having a good time. You know, I'm alone. So, boom, man. I'm like, all right. It's, it's fucking 4 a.m. It's time, bro. I crack open this little box of weed baddies, dude. Grab one of those. Pop one in, man. I'm just waiting for the effects. Watching myself some Scooby-Doo, dude. I don't mind saying it. I love Scooby-Doo. My best friend, he loves Scooby. We love Scooby Doo. -Doo. I don't know anyone who has beef with Scooby Doo. That's how good it is. But I know like a million people who have beef with Alfred Hitchcock. Just saying. Just putting it out there. So, I'm watching Scooby Doo. I'm waiting for it to kick in, dude. And after a moment, dude, I'm starting to feel all heavy, all laughy. I'm laughing at shit that Shaggy's saying, dude. I'm like, dude, they always have the same clothes. Trippy shit like that, right? I'm just tripping out. I'm just happy. And uh, and my friend just hit me, he, like hits me up an hour later, dude. And he's like, bro, can I can I come through? Because uh, I want to take you to this party I'm going to later at night. Mind you, I had not made any plans because I was like, you know what? New Year's Eve, I'm going to, people are going to text me, dude. So I was just waiting for someone to text me. So I'm like, yeah, sure. Go into a party? Sure. You know, come by, dude. So this guy just comes to my place at around six ish right and he comes in dude already like i open the door dude's music is blasting on his phone he has like one of those t-shirts with like a tux drawn on it and i'm like dude just chill bro what are you doing so your boy was fucked up at that time already dude because because it was starting to kick in i was like bro just stop the music dude you're, you're in my place dude just sit down make yourself comfortable bro you know that's that's how you gotta start at night bro you gotta be comfortable bro so I started up the PS4, dude. We're playing some fucking video games. Your boy's getting fucked up. We're just talking about life. And he's like, all right, dude, let's head to the party. So I'm like, yeah, bet, right? So I grab my shit, bro. I pack so many things into the jacket, dude. The jacket. I'm going to get the jacket. It's a jacket that I always have, dude. So I'm going to tell you how I packed the jacket then. Little box of weed brownies. Wallet. Hat. Phone. Gloves. Okay? So I pack it, put it on, we're out, dude. We're walking in the streets, I'm like tripping out because there's lots of light, lots of music. I'm like, hey guys, just saying hi to people in the street, bro. And it was awesome. But we get to the tram, dude. And so what we have to do is basically this is how the city is dude all the trams are here his party was here and another party i wanted to go to later that night was over here so he's like dude let's take the tram let's head over to this party it's gonna be fun and we can still go to the party that you wanted to go to initially bro because yeah i got a text from another friend he was like pull through at this party and i was like bet so he was telling me that we should go to this party i'm like tell me about the party he's like it's formal i'm like it's formal Mind you, at this point, I was like like a 6'7", so I'm like, fuck formal, dude. I was like, nah, bro, I'm heading through to the other party, dude. You, you go, and I'll catch you later that night, bro. So I, gra I go in the tram, bro. Mind you, homie, I'm looking fucked up, dude. So I sit down like this, bro. And I'm in the tram, I'm all comfortable, and I'm like, you know what? I'm watching Alice in Wonderland today, bro. So I grab my phone, I open it up, I search the full movie of Alice in Wonderland on YouTube, and I start watching it without the sound, bro. If you watch something without the sound, that's how you know you're over the line, dude. So I'm watching, I'm watching this, right? And she's just falling into the hole, and I keep like trying to 
keep myself from thinking that I'm falling into the screen. I'm just like, whoa, whoa. And then I feel this, 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 like, like budge. So I'm like, what the fuck? I look over and there's this dude dressed in all red, bro. Just, just straight up looking at my screen, bro. Looking at Alice in Wonderland. He looks fucked up as well. He smells of alcohol, dude. He's man spreading like hell, dude. He's pressuring me into the corner because we was in, we were in this like um, booth of four chairs in the tram, and I was here next to the window. He was here, right, and the, the alley's here. So I'm like, I'm not getting out of this. And I was all the way back. No one's seeing this. So I'm like, fuck. Is this how I'm getting stabbed, bro? So I'm just on my phone looking at this guy, like, ah. Oh. Really didn't feel like getting stabbed today, dude. So I put the phone away and I'm like, all right, let's get this started. I was like, you know, cause I, you boy, like, I, I can't fight, dude. I'm just, I'm just gonna try. So I just put the phone away, try like the sleeve roll up, dude, the classic. I go like, all right, fuck it. So the dude just looks at me, he stands up and gets out. And I was like, that's it. Your boy been working out so much. I became scary. Now that's what I thought at the time, but dude, like, I'm still, I'm still really skinny. I didn't scare the dude probably, but uh, he got out of the tram. I was really happy because I didn't get stabbed that day, bro. So I head over to the party. I get out the tram, dude, and I'm walking, dude. I'm just straight up walking over to that party, and. As I'm walking, I hear like a lot of fucking buzz, dude. Or a lot of fucking people just, just yelling and shit, right? And I don't think anything of it. This is going to come in part two, why they were screaming and shit, dude. But I just walk past him, bro. I just walk past him. I walk over this bridge to get to the party, bro. And on the bridge, I see a couple of weirdo druggies, dude, just offering me shit that I don't want, bro. So I just continue straight on my line. And then, yeah, I head to the party, dude. I'm almost there. I knock on the door, bro. And then I hear this, like, Ugh. so I turn around, bro. And I see this guy coming out of this, like, building. And he's, like, not, he can't open the lock. And I'm like, ooh, this guy's fucked up, dude. But not like I was. This guy was drunk, so that's dangerous, bro. So he's coming out, bro. He's like, fuck ah, this, I'm like, Oh shit. So I'm like knocking on the door, bro. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. I'm grabbing my phone. I'm calling up my friends. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Just open the door. And they're all upstairs in like the third floor. I can see them. But I'm like, dude, just open the door, bro. And he's like, yeah, I'm coming. Just chill. Dude's fucked up already. I'm like, no, you come right now, dude. There's this dude behind me. The dude comes closer. He comes closer. And, and my friend's like, dude, I'm coming. I'm walking down the stairs. Now, mind you, there's three flight, flights of stairs, dude. So this guy's here while this guy's coming closer. And he's coming closer. And he's coming closer. And I'm in the middle, dude. And then, boom, my friend opens, just opens the door. I jump in, bro. Literally, like, fall in. Close the door behind me. Lock that bitch, bro. And I'm like, let's head to the party. So we're just walking upstairs, bro. We get inside the party. And mind you, this was on like in, like, a penthouse, right? But there were two apartments in the top floor. So I go to the right apartment, but there's an apartment on the left who is owned by a couple of people I now know after this party. So I head into the right and straight up, dude, this shit looking sketchy as fuck, dude. There's a couple people drugged out on the floor. There's like this mattress with like so many people just hugging and shit. This guy in the corner has like a bunch of plastic rings that he just opening like like that, bro. There's like a bunch of coke in it. He's just taking a bump, dude. Offering one to some chick next to him who's sucking like a um, one of those one of those you know the thing that you give babies, dude. What's that called, bro? The thing that babies suck, bro. And uh, and he is, she's just sucking on one of those, just like and he's like here here. And she's like, and I'm like, this is a party I don't want to be at, homie. <laughs> but I'm like, all right, you know what? Bet I'm gonna make it fun, bro. So I start talking to everybody there. And I meet this nice little baddie, dude. And we're, we're just chilling. We go upstairs, dude. We're, 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 you know, talking and shit. But your boy didn't think about the peak, bro. If you mess with edibles, dude, you know about the peak, homie. I didn't time that shit, bro. The peak hit me when I was talking to the girl and I couldn't do shit, bro. I was like, so at first I'm like, yeah, so where are you from? Oh, really? That's fun. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then peak. And I'm like... What did you, um, uh, what, what'd you say? Your boy straight tweaking, bro. And then my friend comes over. He's like, all right, dude, drink this. And I'm like, I don't fuck with alcohol. But, you know, it's, it's, it was New Year's Eve. I drank one sip, bro. And I put that shit down. I was like, fuck it, bro. I'm not taking that. 
So, I hear fireworks! So we head downstairs to the parking lot, dude, because this guy bought hella fireworks, which is illegal in France, bro. In that part of France. And, uh, and he's just firing that shit up, dude. And he has massive fireworks, bro. Like some of that fucking MGK concert shit, bro. He's just firing it up. And I'm like, why are we so close to him, dude? Because we're like 300 people on that parking lot. The people from the two parties and two penthouses are on the parking lot, dude. And we're so close. And I'm like, this isn't good. This guy's doing it. You know, and it flies, it explodes, shit's working out perfectly. Second one, it flies, it explodes, it's beautiful. Third one, dude, but it doesn't leave in the air, dude. It just stays on the floor, so I'm like, fuck. I'm like, well, well, am I really gonna die like this after not being stabbed? So this thing's just vibrating, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm leaving, so I'm pushing people out the way, and this chick behind me had the same idea, dude, so she's pushing people out of the way, too. He's like, fuck. The dude who, like, um, put the firework, he's like, fuck, run, guys. And he's laughing at the same time because my boy's fucked up, too, dude. So he just runs in my direction. Shit starts exploding, dude. Like, fire embers are just coming out of the sky. He's fucking burning my skin, bro. It's like coming, like, shh, shh. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right, I'm freaking out, bro. I'm like, fuck this, man. And I get punched by a girl who's trying to walk out, right? And I'm like, no. And then I'm like, no, 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 just, just calm down, bro. I'm trying to get everyone to calm down, but the thing's still exploding because now it's hitting the floor with force. So it's going like all over again, dude. And it's flying all over the parking lot, hitting, hitting shit, right? And it's bumping into cars and they're like, oh my God. And the thing finally explodes, just go pop. And I felt like 1917, dude, the movie. Cause I just fucking, I, I heard that shit. And then I heard like, Felt like one of those movie scenes where all the smoke comes out and they're like, Bobby, Bobby. But I was searching, I was looking for my friend, Eloise, man. So I'm like, Eloise, Eloise. And he's like, here. I just see this hand shoot out from under the crowd, dude. I grab it and I'm like, dude, we are getting the fuck out, dude. And he's like, where do you want to go? And I'm like, to the formal party where our friend went at, dude. And so, bro, the thing just exploded. People are on the floor everywhere, and this one guy is snapping pics. He's like, best night ever, bro. The night's not finished, though. It's only like, well, it was three, two, one. Okay, so it's midnight, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, I forgot that part, dude. It was a countdown. Three, two, one, boof. Yeah, that, yeah, true, true, true. Sorry. But yeah, so basically, it's midnight. The night's starting, right? Like, this is the new year, dude. So I, I just pull out my phone, text my mom, text my family, and I'm like, dude, we're getting to this party, bro. And that's gonna be part two because it's a lot crazier than part one, bro. It's a lot crazier. See you then, dude. See you then. You know, if you like this video, dude, like, subscribe, and watch part two when it comes out, bro. I, peace. I said peace.